Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another exciting episode of Let's Play Fatal Frame. My god, this area is dark. Last time we had a bit of a, I don't know if I'd call it a boss fight, but it was a pretty big fight. And I don't know, I barely survived it after having snorted seven cans of herbs or whatever they are. So uh, I didn't exactly explore the area after we finished the fight, so I'm going to do that. And then we'll come back to this corridor and see what else awaits us. Alright, so, from your comments, I've actually been able to glean together a lot more of the story, so really, thank you very much for that. Uh, for instance, it was unclear completely to me that there were two Kagura dance rituals, one for tourists and one that happened underground. Like, that completely went over my head. That explains how I found two Kagura stages, but I thought I was hallucinating and I was just misunderstood. But no, apparently that's how it went. And calm down, game. Okay. Alright, sorry about that. Uh, a bit of a weird frame rate issue. Okay, let's... I guess there's really nothing more to do around here. They didn't even... Did they drop something from the last episode? I haven't played in a week, by the way, so... If I seem to be a bit lost... Don't, uh... Don't hold it against me. This is a new area, though. We haven't been here before. This door, anyway. It's the same. It's 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 this. It's the same corridor, isn't it? Or is it? Aha! So the corridor was destroyed at the end of it, and I had to go through the Kagura area to. I don't know, man. Type zero film. This is the best type of film you can get. Probably going to use it on the final boss battle. If there is a final boss battle, probably there is a final boss battle. This is a Fatal Frame game. Probably be underground near where the ritual happened, and it's gonna be probably a woman, and it's probably gonna be terrifying. That's a lot of blue crystals. Good! Good. I have a sneaking suspicion that we're coming to the end of this. <laughs> Chapter. I wanted to say chapter. <sighs> this place is big. Okay, okay, I understand where I am now. Let's see if the door is on this side uh, open before I go downstairs. Because, I mean, I need to go downstairs. That's pretty obvious. Or is this the other side where I saw the... Okay. In front of me, was that my father? <gasps> Maybe it was. Maybe it was. Yeah, this is where the three girls that tried to scare me when I picked an item up. Is, it, is that it? I can hear a doll, but before that, there was something blowing. Oh. What the? Oh, not you again. I don't I don't want to fight you. I'm just going to flee. You are the worst ghost to fight in this game. Did she go away? Was she like, man, I'm too lazy to go through here. Where am I? Where, where? Okay, I'm not gonna go through here just yet because I have a feeling that this is going to be an area I need to explore later. After finding maybe a door that's locked that needs some sort of key. By the way, yes, I hear a doll, so maybe there's a doll down here somewhere. I see you. I see you. You little twerp. Think you're so smart? I pressed the wrong button because I'm a genius. <laughs> Okay, no more distraction. Follow the Hayabara, the Hayabara, not Hayabara, Hayabara. Sorry, I've been saying that wrong since the very first episode. I'm sure a lot of people are pissed at me for it, but you know, you know, it's all in good faith. It's not like I do it on purpose. 
Let's see where this place leads. Please don't lead me down to the Satan Caves again. That place was horrible. Well, this is gonna be good. Maybe this door will be locked and I'll have to go find a key for it. Or not. Look, I'll stick by my theory, okay? Holy potatoes. What is this place? The ground is so clean that even the candles are reflecting. I am afraid. I will come back to you once I pick up something that was bluing. Origin of the Antechamber In the antechamber during the ceremony of passage, the Shrine Maiden is united with the mask. Before praying at the altar, she must sit wearing the mask and listen to the lunar melody. She must become one with the mask. The Kanade must become one with the mask. The lunar melody, melody must be played from above the altar. Only those who became one with the mask shall stride majestically from the altar to the hall beneath. Creepy, so this is where part of the ritual takes place and they put the mask on their doohickey. Oh my god, that is beyond creepy. Hi! Okay. What exactly do I need to take a photo of here? Creepy face? No, creepy face isn't working. The thing on the ground? Do I need to stand on it? No. What's at the altar? Something like a panel is attracted to the altar. Attached, rather. Stagnant air flows behind the... It's always stagnant air. It's always stagnant air. So... This panel, I can't interact with it so far. Nice nostrils. 10 out of 10. No nostril hair detected. I mean, it's not exactly what I'm looking for, but I found a doll, so... That's something, I guess? Okay, honestly, this is starting to piss me off. Like, I have tried from every single position, and it needs to be, like, focus perfect. All of these, I've noticed, need to be completely perfect in a single certain position. And it's really obnoxious. I've been trying here for more than three minutes now, just trying all the different places to get a picture of the mask. I thought, maybe it's not the mask. I tried this on the floor. No, it's not that either. Maybe it's the ropes around the floor. Nope, it's not these either. So, I don't know what they want from me. It's probably just for points anyway, because it's not doing the whole vibrating thing. So, I don't know. I don't know. At this point, I don't, I don't, I don't care anymore. I don't care enough about this to waste any more time in, on this, because I got things to do, man. If it's important, I guess I'll have to come back to it, but I seriously doubt that it's important. Now, what is important, I bet, is the fact that I need to get something to interact with the altar. And I bet that that's where I need to go in that other place, in that other place that I just came back from. I was like, oh, I'm sure there's nothing down here. Actually, I didn't say that. I said I have to come back there later, but shut up! Expecting consistency out of me is like expecting consistency out of me. Well, chasing the ghost of the father. Maybe he'll lead us to some sort of mask that we'll have to put on the altar? In any case, I'm really glad we didn't have to fight Satan uh, Ceiling Lady again. She's not really the best person to get along with, if you know what I mean. She likes to hang around too much. And honestly, it's pretty hard. I mean, the skill ceiling of the game has increased. There's a doll. There it is. I thought it would be outside. Honestly, at this point, I'm not sure if the music didn't just flat out play in the first sections of the game, or if I never paid attention to it. There's a door here. Are you locked? 
Please be locked. That's not being locked! Not only is it not locked, there's a Satan! Well, I mean, it's one room, so I guess I might as well explore it. Hi, um... Okay. <laughs> Is this where they... Uh, I don't know. This whole thing is creepy. Well, worth it. Worth it. No matter if I fight a Satan right now, which I probably will, honestly. At least I got some zero film. A female mask is enshrined in the altar, which is carved with clouded moon patterns. The surface of the white mask has cracked, like broken clay. You're a broken clay. Are you gonna be a hand? No. Hall of the Conscious Mind. Interesting. For the mask of the person becoming an Utsua, having budded must be harvested and used. That face must be enshrined overnight in the Hall of the Conscious Mind to be purified. By the moon, that face is then used within. A handcrafted mask, after it has been peeled and tanned, the moonlight eradicates the impurities. Yeah, how's that work out for you so far? No, there's another door here. Are, are, are you locked? Fine, I'll come back to that. Oh. My father was always in here. Your father is creepy, Ruka. Does he have no face? So what, does that mean that it's open now? Nope, okay. Well, that was just lovely. And by lovely, I mean terrible. Well, some plot and some things that have been uncovered. This is where they leave them overnight. Hmm. At least there are no Satans. We haven't fought a single Satan this session. Well, we could have fought a Satan this episode, but it was a trap Satan! And, 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 and I chose to flee! Bravely! It's called a tactical retreat, okay? something down here yeah always always in the corner there's always something just don't be an ambush that was not an ambush that was amazing these are my stones my stones are amazing One of these days, I'm going to open the door and there's going to be a Satan right there just waiting for me. So we don't get to go further. Interesting. What did Ruka find and what awaits us in the next chapter? The answer to these questions and more in the next part. <laughs>